Hello everybody, welcome to Broker Alerts. Today we're going to talk about Mango Credit or Mango Mortgages or Mango Media as you may uh, remember they used to call themselves. You know Mango? Mango are the ones who always have this advertisement on the front page of the Australian Broker Magazine. It used to be orange, do you remember? It was always there and it was orange the last 15 years or so. Here's the ad on the Australian broker. And as you can see, it says, no income assessment, NCCP compliant. What does that mean? How can you be NCCP compliant if there's no income assessment? That doesn't make any sense. At the bottom, you'll see it says, Mango Mortgages, Proprietary Limited. That's the company with the Australian credit license. So they're proudly saying that who they are, they're saying they're Mango Mortgages, they're saying they've got an Australian credit license, but at the same time, they're saying they don't do any income assessment. How is that possible? Now I'm gonna take you to their website. It's a very simple website. Their website is www.mangocredit.com.au. Note the name Mango Credit. It's the same as the name on the advertisement. And they have Australian credit license 422165, and then they have Mango Mortgages Proprietary Limited. Let's have a look what they say. No financials or credit check. No financials. No fi How can you do responsible lending if there are no financials? The reason why I've taken you to the distinction between Mango Mortgages and Mango Credit is because the loan that I'm going to talk to you about today was entered into in the name of Mango Credit Proprietary Limited. Now this is an AFCA complaint. Now, see here, AFCA have said they cannot consider the complaint. And they say the complaint is lodged against Mango Mortgages However, Mango Credit and Isla Proprietary Limited were the lenders and mortgagees under this loan. We only have jurisdiction to consider complaints if the financial firm is a member of our service. Unfortunately, Mango Credit and Isla are not current members of AFCA. Purely business and commercial lenders such as Mango Credit are not obliged to be members of an external dispute resolution scheme such as AFCA. So you can see what's happening here. The advertisements are going into the Australian Broker Magazine in the name of the credit license holder. But the actual loans are being written without the credit license holder's involvement. What that means is there doesn't have to be any responsible lending. There's no limit on the interest rate and this loan has an interest rate of 150% per annum. Now you think I'm joking. You think I'm exaggerating. This is the letter of offer. And as you can see, it says loan amount 300,000, interest rate 1.75% per month, reducible from 12.5% per month where there is no default. So the official interest rate under this loan is 12.5% but it's reducible if you pay it on time. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is show you what happens with an interest rate like that and an organization like Mango Credit. This is the loan statement of Mango Credit's facility. As you can see at the top there, it says lower rate 5,250. You can imagine having 5,250 as your monthly payment. But then it says higher rate, if you go into default, is $37,500. Now to give you an idea of how quickly that can wipe out any equity in your house, let's consider these people. As you can see, they paid their mortgage, 5,250, from the inception of the loan in December of 2017, all the way through to December 2018. Then you'll see they missed the January payment and they've been slogged for 37,500. 
Same again for February, same again for March, same again for April, May and June, and same again for June, July, August and September. With the result that the interest bill is now more than the original loan, the entire payout figure has jumped from 300,000 to 600,000 and the loan now exceeds the value of the property. Let's have a look at the valuation, shall we? This is the valuation report prepared for Mango Credit by Paul McNeely Valuers. So there is the valuation of the property and as you can see it was $530,000. So they borrowed $300,000 against a $530,000 house. They had pretty good equity. I wish I had that much equity in my house. They had pretty good equity in the house because they'd been paying it off for many years. Now they have no equity, no equity at all. And they haven't been able to refinance because the payout figure is so high. Now Mango Credit has obtained judgment for possession of the house. The court has refused to further stay the matter and the eviction will be scheduled sometime in October. What's all this got to do with you, you might ask? Well, I think it's very important before you write a loan with Mango Credit or with any other usurious bastards that you understand that there's a human cost to doing it. So let's go and meet the family, shall we? So Kirsty, who's this? This is Lachlan. This is Lachlan. Yeah. And how old are you, Lockie? Yes, Two? He's just one. He's just one, is he? No, he's two. two. Oh, he's two. And what's your name? Me, Lockie. Eloise. You're Lockie and you're Eloise. And Eloise, how old are you? Four. Daddy. Four. And what are their names? You don't have names for them? Mummy, what are their names? Mummy, the butterfly. Well, that one was Pinkie Pie. And that one was Rainbow Dash. This one was Rainbow Dash and this one was Pinkie Pie. This is Kirsty and Francis. How are you, uh, Frank? Good, my dad, yep, yep. yep. That's and Kirsty, how are you? Good, thank you. Good, and how many people live in the house? Uh, eight. Eight people live in the house. My goodness. So, so we, we haven't even met the boys yet. No. Where, can, we, can we wheel out the boys? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Careful what you wish for there. No? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on, say hello. Ah, here they are. Come on, man. Where's your brother? Good boys. In the room. In the room. Right, so, Honor. so, what's your name? Dylan. Dylan. Yes. You're a magnificent looking boy, Dylan. Have you been at school today? Yes. What grade are you in? Grade two. Grade two. Wow, you're a big boy. And I'm, are you enjoying it? Yes. I'm in koala preschool. You're in koala preschool, are you? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Is everyone very nice to you there? Yes. And who's your best friend? Um, Jacob. Jacob. And who's this fine strapping young man? This is Connor. Come on over. Come on over, Connor. Yes, my lady. Look at These boys look like twins. Has anyone ever said that before? They look He's so... He's eight, I'm seven. Right, boys, and, and so that's four people. Who else have we got? Well, then there's us two. You two, that makes six. Frank and Kirsty. Yes. Hi, Brianna, how are you? I'm good, how are you? So that's it's seven. my daughter. Hi, Brittany, how are you? Are you the tallest in the family, are you? Uh -huh. Are you able to refinance at this stage? No. And why is that? because they want too much money, more than we could even get for the house if we sold it. Right, okay. So you started off with a house, how much is the house worth? I can't say 50. The latest yeah, valuation right. between five and 550. 550 or something, and yeah. And you borrowed how much? 300. 300. Okay, so effectively all your equity in the house has disappeared. Yes, and there's still a bill left. There's still a bill left over. Now, what would you say to any brokers who were thinking about giving business uh, to either Mango Credit or Mango Capital? Joke. I'd say don't do it. Joke. Because stay away. Stay away. They're going to be literally signing people's houses away to Look, look what happened to us. And how long did it take you to... One year to lose our house. 
How long did it take you to save up to get this house? A long, long time. Right. Yeah, a long, long time. We had been putting our money aside and, and, and working and working and working and, put, and scrimping and saving. I, I, I thought, well, it was explained to me and I thought, well, for a temporary fix, it's going to get us out of trouble for the minute. You know, so, uh, and that's, that's the only reason I ever put my signature on the paper was I thought it was only going to be for one year and it was only a temporary fix and we were going to, you know, we and were going we to abide by the, the rules. Repayments for the year. We'll abide by the rules, we'll do exactly what we got to do. We'll, we'll, we'll play the game exactly the way we got to play it and then we'll move on and we'll, we'll, we'll refinance and, and we'll do whatever we do, you know. And, and then just within the matter of a few months, yeah, it's just been torn apart, everything's gone. My honey, look at the camera. This is my show your beautiful face. Is that Frances, how old is she? Ellie's four. Ellie's four. She's the only tiny Eloise, yes. She's only she's a little pocket rocket. Yeah. And then you get the weather sort of thing impacts you as well, so you know. But we're back out tomorrow apparently. It's supposed to be a bit of sunshine this afternoon and the weather's dried up, so So you get paid by the job. By by the job, by the hour. Yeah, right. By the hour, yeah, yeah. If you, if you get out there and, and you can't work, well, then you got to come home again. You know what I mean? That, that's pretty much it. Sims for all tradies. Yeah. You know, if we don't get, if, if, it wet, if it's wet, you come home. That's the, you, you don't get to work. You don't get to earn any money that day. But, uh, yeah, so hopefully we get back out tomorrow and get a, I know we need the rain and all that. I know we need the rain, but I, yeah, I could do with a few sunny days too. <laughs> See if we can get a couple of days in. Yeah, earn a few dollars, you know. Yeah. What do you reckon, Bob? Um, what? Yeah. Yeah, yes. <laughs> now, the consumer credit code has a maximum interest rate. It doesn't apply here. The consumer law deems small business loans, like the loan made to Mr. Murphy, as being consumer protected so far as unfair contractual terms, which are standard terms. But this isn't a standard term. So there is no law that protects against 150% interest rates. But it's wrong, and we all know it's wrong, and something has to be done about it. And I think the first thing that needs to be done about it is Australian Broker Magazine should not be carrying these advertisements. So if you agree with me on that, what I'd like you to do is forward my email that I've sent to you to the Australian Broker Magazine and make some comments of your own. If we can get enough brokers doing that, then I think they'll understand. To all the aggregators out there who might be interested in putting Mango Credit on their panel of lenders, don't do it this severe reputational damage that's going to come from doing something like that. Now, the email address for the Australian Broker Magazine uh, is found on the inside cover of the Australian Broker Magazine. It's simon.kerslake at keymedia.com.au. Okay, Simon's in charge of advertising inquiries. Just let Simon know that you'll be cancelling your subscription if they continue to carry Mango Credit advertisements. Brokers write more than half of the loans in Australia. As a group, brokers are very powerful. If they act together and work together, they can fix up this industry. And I'm not talking about necessarily fixing up brokers. I'm talking about fixing up loan sharks, fixing up the MFAA, and fixing up aggregators. Let's start by doing something about this. Thank you very much.